great to see uh, everybody from different colleges, especially the funders like MBIF here, the research, and to uh, and my bosses and my my uh, uh, department head and the CEOs and Mary Butler and the whole team together to see what I've done because sometimes you can't sit around during the year and actually see see what what uh, what we actually produced and we actually finished our products and excelled more than I ever thought. So to have them there and to show our partners that like some of our funding partners are here so to have them here was a it's, a it's a great event that and the only time that can happen is the summer i think this is uh, essential it needs to be done on a yearly basis and actually uh, we do a similar activities with an annual health research foundation for the entire province so what's important for the college is to bring in expertise and also crossover fertilization for example of the groups starting from within themselves but then actually uh, interacting with us, for example, the funders of research, whether it's going to be myself and other agencies like we hear about today about INSERC and other places, to see how we can contribute to their research and innovation agenda. Uh, it's quite comprehensive, um, looking at um, how to write research proposals successfully, uh, looking at different research methods that one can use based on, on the, the answers that they're seeking, uh, looking at research ethics, looking at uh, intellectual property questions. So it's all quite comprehensive. I, I've learned a lot. The amount we learned was way more than any textbook could ever teach us, ever, including me, which is why I left. So here it was like, okay, I've already done this. My students have already done this. What else can we do? What else can I get my students involved in? What else can we learn? I think it was excellent. I think they had uh, the, the participation level was great and the variety of participation was great. You saw, I mean, there, there were individuals, there were instructors, there were individuals that weren't, uh, you know, that may have been department heads, there were non-instructional staff, there was, uh, you know, individuals that would be involved in recruitment, individuals that would be, you know, upper administration. So there was a, a strong variety and a, and a lot of interest from all levels of MBCC, which was good to see. I see it as a, a wonderful opportunity for professional development for for instructors, or not only instructors, uh, other staff members at the college, an opportunity to get out into the real world, so to speak, and and apply the things that you know that we talk about in the, in the classroom. Uh, take a real world example, and bring it bring it into the classroom. Oh, that's a really easy one. Um, um, I've had, I don't know how many students, over 10 students work on these projects. And, uh, and what it, there's a couple things. One, they get training aids they normally never could get. We've got some advanced video tutorials that cost thousands of dollars that were uh, budgeted into the program. So that's the first thing. They get training and mentorship from the partners. And even the partners get trained but the students get that mentorship and the communication between the college and outside in the real world. And they had to meet deadlines. So it, it helped out in their scheduling uh, for problem sets. So the projects they did weren't just in class. They were for real applications. And the, another thing is that they got paid in the practicum term to do the research. It wasn't a lot per week, but they actually got paid. And they put this on their resume, is that, that they work with huge surveys. Now, when it comes to applied research, it's more like uh, what we need to contribute to uh, industry or private sector a relationship, which also will bring the students who are getting training at the same time closer to reality. What's happening in the field out there with a the private sector enterprise, so what they need to basically have their the company uh, being grown and uh, the kind of research that they need to bring uh, products, innovative products to the market and commercialization. So I think that this kind of initiative, when it comes to that, is also to make the what we're doing with applied research in NBCC is really really speaks to what the, the college is trying to do overall in preparing students to address practical needs in society. And so research is one way of framing uh, the solution seeking around those needs. You know, how do you articulate a problem? How do you go about s searching for solutions in a methodical way? If our students are able to go and collect data, whether it's surveys or observations, 
um, asking questions, getting out there to be able to communicate with other people, um, learning how to do that properly, learning the ethics behind it, how to maintain confidentiality, all of that stuff is all super important. So if the students can be hands-on with us during um, these different research projects, then it's more that we'll that it'll just benefit everybody. It'll benefit the college, it'll benefit our students. Um, my students in particular, practical nurse and PSW students. So the more that they get to do this, get everything I just said, they'll be able to communicate better. They'll understand research when they're reading it more. They'll understand why it's so important. Um, they'll be able to send and take along messages with them that they may or may not have really got in the classroom. So it, it's, I think it's super important. Anytime we can involve the students in anything we do, the better it will be. Often what happens is, is that, for example, I'll, I'll talk specifically the subjects I teach, thermodynamics. The students are, are, are often used to seeing examples on the blackboard and whatnot and the connection between what you talk about in the classroom and what happens in the real world is, is sometimes fairly faint. And so in terms of what it would mean to the college, uh, it certainly would inspire students, uh, you know, to, to to better appreciate what they're talking about in the classroom, for, for sure. And and also, uh, you know, as I said earlier, for for staff, it's just a wonderful opportunity to to get engaged in 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 the things that they teach. This is going to be a, a good opportunity for some students to take part in something that uh, is bigger and, and beyond just their program. So this is uh, it, it's. It'll benefit the students in, in that they'll get to participate. It'll also benefit the students in that the more MBCC participates in this applied research, the more recognition MBCC will likely receive, and the more recognition, the more opportunities that'll likely be generated for the students down the line.